In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can create custom images for your Canvas course cards. Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Lauren, the Canvas Queen, here to talk to you guys how to create custom Canvas course cards. That's a big tongue twister, but it's really actually quite easy to do. So we should definitely get started, but before we do, I would absolutely appreciate it and love it if you would like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. All right, let's get into this video and I'm gonna teach you how to create those images. You can see here the course cards that I've created in the past for these Canvas classes. So I'm gonna show you how you can create something similar. And of course, there are tons of different types of applications you can use to create images like this, whether that be PowerPoint, Google Slides, Adobe, but today, and the one that I didn't mention uh, is Canva. So you can create a free Canva account and we're just going to go directly to Canva and get started on creating these course cards. All right, to get started, we're going to click Create Design. And we're going to go to Custom Size. And we're going to enter 800 pixels for the width and then 520 for the height. So if you're creating, let's say, this within PowerPoint or Google Slides, you can also alter the pixels as well. Then we'll click create new design and it will come up with this blank page that we can start to fill in. So the first step is to add text. So we'll just add a text box and then go through all of the library of fonts. All right, so I'm just gonna speed through my creation process here for you guys. And I've gone with English class seven as my example for the course title. And then I also found this really, really cute um, elements flower bundle in Canva. So if you just click on elements and scroll down, you'll find a package full of free uh, flower images, which I really loved. Now I decided that I'd change up the font and then I liked this look and I'm all done. All right, so I have finished this and I, I think it's actually pretty cute what I've come up with here. And so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to come up to share and we're going to download this as a PNG. So I'm just going to click download. Okay, so it's downloaded and now we're going to go into Canvas. Right, so I'm in a random Canvas course that I just have here. It's like a demo course. And we're going to go to uh, settings next. Go to the image within our course details and choose image. So this is where we get to pick the image for our course card. So I'm going to click upload image and then we'll select the image we downloaded. And there we go. It looks so cute. Okay. And then we need to make sure you need to make sure you scroll all the way down and then click update course details. And now we'll go see what this looks like on the dashboard. Okay, I love the way this course card looks. It's so cute. Now what I'm going to do is um, if for some reason you have a color overlay, uh, you can actually come up to these three dots. Let me move myself and make sure that this is not checked. So you can see now I have that course overlay on the card. You want to make sure that's unchecked so you can have your beautiful colors that you added. And then to make it even more seamless, you can see here that this is the color of that like three dots dot. <laughs> I'm going to actually change it by using my little eyedropper that I've showed you guys in other videos. Um, it's a Chrome extension. And we're going to come over and take the hex number color and I'm going to copy this and then we're going to change it. So I just place the color code right there, apply, and now it all looks seamless. It looks beautiful. Now, of course, if you want to make this more, the three dots more visible, you can make this darker. So we can just kind of like go, oh, we need to be a little bit darker of a color. Copy that color again, come over here, and then I will just do that. And then it's like a little bit darker. So up to you and what your preferences are. 
Now that I've shown you how to create a custom image for your course, I'm gonna show you how you can animate this course card into what we would call a GIF. So your course card will be animated and fun and engaging for your students. So I'm back in Canva and what we're going to do now is animate this custom image. So there's a couple ways we can do this. The first is we can add animations to text, to images, with it, or elements within the Canva page. So I'm just going to pick a couple. So all I'm doing is adding an animation to each element within the Canva image. Because this is what it's going to appear. I can actually preview it and see what it looks like. And it's really fun, but let's add a little more to it. So I'm going to add a new page and actually we'll put it up here and take the same font. Welcome to dot dot dot. So now I'm just adding more of those flower images within that element package that I was talking about earlier and then just clicking on each item and adding an animation that I like. So let's preview this again. Ooh, and it's super cute, but there's just one thing I want to do. So the only thing I disliked was that I felt like it was too long. So we're going to shorten this and make each page, or actually maybe just the first page. We're going to make the first one two seconds, and then that means this page will be five seconds for the title. And we got to make sure, because Canva for some reason sometimes doesn't like to apply the second. So it's two seconds here, and then this one is five seconds, which is great. So now what we're going to do is we're going to share this and download it, but this time, instead of doing it as a image, as a PNG or a JPEG, we are going to download this as a GIF, which is so fun. Okay, and then, yep, we got the dimensions. We're good to go, all the pages, download. And now let's go place this into Canvas. So we're back in Canvas and we're in the course settings. I've created a new course just so we can look at them side by side on the dashboard. But I'm going to go back to choose image, upload image, and now we're going to pick the GIF and add that into the course. And so now we have our wonderful little sign, which I love. Okay, and so we'll click, we'll come back down here and we're gonna update our course and go to the dashboard. Now you can see the difference between the two. I really love the animated one. It's just fun and it gives the kids something to go, oh look, it moves. <laughs> um, but that is essentially it. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really hope that you enjoyed it and that you try this out for your Canvas course. Now, of course, if you have any questions or if there's something that you want to see that you have not seen on YouTube, where like, I'm struggling with this specific Canvas thing, let me know in the comments below because sometimes you guys inspire me to create certain types of videos. So if you wanna see a certain video, let me know in the comments below, or of course, if you have questions, place them in the comments below. All right guys, I hope you try this out and I'll see you guys on the next one, bye.